So with integrating ICE along with StealthWatch, it allows us to not just have this network as a sensor, but we're also having network as an enforcer. So, you know, StealthWatch sort of on its own does have the ability to evaluate traffic, you know, that's within our organization, but we can also use it to evaluate traffic outside of our organization. A lot of times when we look at um, things like you know, ICE and things with security group tags within our environment, you know, it's it's easy for us to be able to say, hey, this is the bad guy because, you know, they might be coming from outside of our network and they're, they're doing all this malicious traffic and then we can contain it. Um, but, you know, we also have things that could be introduced into our environment via an air gap. So if we have USB, devices or mobile devices that were outside of our organization picked up something and then brought it in it might get past ice so without the integration of stealth watch you know we we might be missing out on that additional line of defense so when we integrate the two not only are we looking at contextual information from ice but we're also of course looking at the netflow telemetry and we can kind of go back and forth with these security group tags and um, PX grid, and essentially, when we, when when StealthWatch detects something, it can notify ICE, and then ICE can then quarantine it, right? And or um, if I can spell that while I'm writing or, or talking while I'm writing, um, and we can sign assign a quarantine security group tag. Um, via that PX grid, which is just a framework, it's supported in you know six nine and later. Um, or if we wanted to manually mitigate, we as administrators can also do that as well. So basically, having this uh, mitigation that we can quarantine a particular host directly from SMC using you know our endpoint. Um, protection services via ICE and via that PX grid. Uh, we can also look at cognitive analytics. The benefits is increased visibility, um, also eliminating things like false positives. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we can remediate threats a lot faster because we're reducing the overall time to remediate. We're receiving those alerts and um, confirming them immediately. And the way the cognitive analytics investigates things like um, our web traffic to be able to you know, identify any of those breaches that might be coming in through the web or um, you know, looking at traditional zero days, they many times uh, get missed, right? Because we aren't analyzing traffic repeatedly over time. So we might need to determine a normal event to be abnormal, right? No, that's a, a false positive. But essentially what um, CA is doing is it's it's using this, this big data um, concept to be able to identify um, you know, those very, very discreet attacks that might end up having a big impact on your environment, right? So, um, you know, you can certainly see how this along with stealth watch and ice is going to be, you know, beneficial. All right, we can see the CA, the Cisco's cognitive analytics also has a widget that's supported on the SMC um, dashboard. And this can also be integrated with um, web proxies like um, WSA or, or things like um, Blue Coat or Squid. So, you know, there's just an additional way to be able to observe traffic and to be able to correlate it with things like um, syslog and all of our flow data for a little bit more of, of deeper visibility.